some additional safety measures and plans put in place. That's why parents and students rallied outside a school board meeting in Champaign, demanding their voices be heard. Thanks for joining us. I'm McLeod Hageman. And I'm Jessica Coons. Tonight, those parents and students heard directly from district leaders about plans they have to keep schools and the people inside of them safe. WCI 3's Bryce Beeman is live in our newsroom. Bryce, what did parents tell you tonight? The organizer of the rally, Karen Sharp, thinks the district is doing what they can to keep the students safe, but she also has some ideas on ways to help with safety. Parents shouldn't have to worry when they send their kids off to school, whether they're going to be the victim of a shooting, whether it's inside the school or outside of the school. Some parents are afraid to send their kids to Centennial High School, and some students are afraid to go. She's afraid to go to the bathroom, like, so she's afraid to be alone, um, she doesn't feel as though they've necessarily been truly trained completely on the lockdown procedures. So parents are taking action. Karen Sharp organized a rally before the Champaign School Board meeting. Sharp says she wants to see how she can get involved to help express her safety concerns, have good communication with the district, and more. We just want the chance to sit down across the table from the administration and um, have them listen to us and us hear them. Three weeks ago, police say a student pulled out a gun during a fight. Two weeks ago, shots were fired outside of the school. Police are looking for this suspect, but have no new information. Then last week, social media threats surfaced. Police were called and even brought dogs to sniff around the school. There's just a lot of hurting in our community, um, in our schools, and unfortunately, our kids are on the front lines. At the meeting, the school board talked about ways they're addressing the violence. They're looking at text alerts that would go to parents, students, faculty, and staff. When you're in the moment, of something happening, your, 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 your priority is making sure all the students and the staff are safe. That is your number one priority. Then getting the message and the information out there, we're definitely working on that too, but I have to make sure my students and my staff are okay. Superintendent Sheila Boozer says the district has an anonymous tip line set up, is installing 515 security cameras, is increasing security at school buildings and games, and more. She also wants to make sure there are emotional resources available for students and teachers. She says her main goal is to keep people safe. We have to have safety and security measures in place in order for us to run a school district have our students in classrooms where they're actually learning, and our teachers can be in the classrooms doing what they love to do, and that's teach. The school district told me they have been receiving anonymous tips through their app called Securely. The superintendent said violence won't go away overnight, but she hopes these changes will start to help. In the newsroom, I'm Bryce Beamett, WCIA 3, your local news leader. All right, Bryce, thank you. Here are some more details about the district's plans for emotional support. They're looking at dynamic counseling and support services, having student roundtables, and establishing a wellness center as well. Physically, they want to have restorative practices and training, a see something, say something campaign, and they're also looking at active supervision by staff and more.